about the scope of the environment. Somebody is joining again. So I'm revising again what we have discussed on the last turn. We have discussed about some definitions. What is the introductions? Okay. So environment is basically the interaction between an organism and its environment. So if we say the environment, that means we are interacting with something. The two. Okay, that means organism interaction to its environment. So we will study uh, this in this subject. So in the last class also we have discussed about the details. What are the interaction means? How the different different components of the environment interact with each other, like air, water, and land. Uh, because we take the air from the atmosphere, we take the fresh air, oxygen from the atmosphere and we exhale the carbon dioxide. So this is the example of uh, one type of interaction. Means we take the oxygen from the atmosphere, then we exhale the carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So this is the one interaction because we are taking air component, air, in, we are inhaling the air and then we are also inhaling something means air that is the carbon dioxide into the atmosphere means the biosphere component living component is interacting with the physical environment so this is the basic basically you can define the environment and it is the sum total of land water air and interrelationships So you can define it as the sum total of land, water and air and interrelationship among them. Then only we can define the interaction also. So using the interaction one, you can define means air or whatever is your surrounding, air, water and land. So that is your surrounding and interaction among these, that is your environment. Because we are the living beings, we interact with our physical environment. So the, oh, whatever uh, exists on the earth, natural things also, that is also the environment, physical environment, like air, water and land. These are not living things, but that is the abiotic environment, which is non-living environment and physical environment. And we are the living beings. Living beings means all the living creature uh, interact with the, the environment. This is the interdisciplinary subject. So this all we have discussed on the last class also uh, now uh, the two uh, the students of two branch uh, are now in the class so there may be the some content that that is overlapping okay so the interaction on the physical chemical biological components that is necessary to make the environment because if we keep the air in one box and the land in one box so we cannot grow the plant in the one box and the, uh, we cannot, I mean, if there is no interaction among uh, the two components, that means we cannot define it as the environment. What is important? Interaction among these components is important to define the environment because in the laboratory, In, in our laboratories, we try to synthesize, we try to make the, uh, some of the chemicals that is required for uh, the nature. But we, we are unsuccessful, means sometimes we, we want to grow the plant, but we cannot grow the whole plants in the box or something. The, what is important, the interaction among the biological uh, different components uh, is important.
and uh, uh, nowadays this is the main problem the pollution and degradation uh, we will discuss about the problems what are the different problems so many students are joining the class okay so what is the problem now this is the environment so environmental pollution has become a great problem there is a different kind of pollution that we are not going to discuss today <clears throat> this is the basic definition that uh, we in the in the environmental science we study the processes in soil water and air that leads to pollution so this all we have discussed the student of uh, elect electronic branch they have not studied the definitions of the but we have uh, we have uh, discussed the introduction introductory aspect of the environment in the previous class whatever the basic uh, basic things comes in the environment that we have already discussed in the class but these are the definitions uh, to the chemical branch i have told to some definitions okay so this is the environment is about the surrounding and environment uh, external conditions influencing the development or growth of the people animal or plants so this we have discussed this is a great problem mm. so here we have some important definitions there is some total of the stimulation which uh, he received from the his conception until his death this is the important definition i want to revise it again this is the definition that is given by the boring that he, what he told the person's environment consists of some total of the stimulation which he received from his uh, conception until the death means as we born on this earth we experience a stimulus like uh, hot and cool environment whatever we experience whatever we feel that is our experience that is a stimulation and whatever uh, we receive after the birth since the birth to death that is environment so it include everything it includes all the stimulation that we receive from uh, since the birth until the death so it can it can also include it also include the physical intellectual mental economical political cultural social moral and emotional environment we have already discussed about these different aspects of the environment in the previous classes if anybody has question related to that uh, they can ask the physical intellectual mental economical political cultural social moral so finally it all impact on our emotional level and that is also related to our performance so we have discussed about this in the last class because we have been surrounded by the uh, different people society and we also discuss the political uh, we also work in the groups that is a, a different types of political groups in our uh, university or in our surrounding where we go wherever we go so we used to celebrate some function in the groups so that is our cultural festivals so and we also work in the group to work anything or to function in the society we work in the social groups so we used to work together that all impact on our uh, moral and emotional level so the economical political cultural social these all aspect affect the moral and emotional level means we we get the moral education from our society from the surrounding since our birth means as the our children reach to up to the age of the uh, means uh, they can understand the language or they can understand the people's behavior they uh, they learn from the environment so finally it affect the our emotional level and that is related to our performance also we i have given you one example of the of your performance in the class because we 
we have been surrounded by the different kind of atmosphere also so these are also important thing because we share although we share same physical environment same physical environment but we uh, our performance is vary in the same class also i have given you the example of the marks it means you are studying in the same subject and same same thing but you get the different marks okay so your performance vary because uh, somehow you you are getting affected by your economic political cultural social atmosphere more so if we want to correct anything we need to work our on our environment so this was the definition that was given by the boring and this is the another definition douglas and holland this we have not discussed in detail or the last definition we have discussed in the detail so the term environment is used to describe means by uh, according to douglas and holland the term environment is used to describe in aggregate all the external forces influences and conditions which affect the life nature behavior and growth development and maturity of uh, living organisms so douglas and holland uh, focused more on the physical things rather than on the emotional political or on any other thing they have focused more on the physical thing means uh, because any physical uh, development is observable we can observe the growth and height of the uh, and the natural height of the human individuals we can we can observe what is the uh, in in terms of physical appearance we can easily uh, that can be easily visualized that can be sensed that we whatever that we can sense that comes in the physical means that we can sense we can see by our eyes we can touch or uh, so that include the, the type of things is included in the physical thing so physical development we can observe so it, uh, they talk about the physical things in aggregate the all external forces which influences the conditions which affect the life nature in life we can include everything nature behavior and the growth behavior in the behavior you can include those things also political social and growth development and maturity of living organism so there are, there are, there is some common common thing between these two definitions is uh, boring call the stimulus word boring use the word that is stimulus and douglas and holland they have used the term external forces influences and conditions so obviously we can see we have been influenced by so many things in the environment and we have we have different conditions also at our home and wherever we are living we are facing the different condition different problems uh, because we are studying in the same class but we may face some problem at our home or in the in the area in which we are living that all affect the people's behavior so that's why these things are included in the in our environment so uh, the people who are living below the poverty line they are facing the issues of physical facilities so they they do not get the minimum physical facilities that is that is their basic requirement means they are not getting sufficient food they are not getting the sufficient resources natural resources so that all comes in the physical physical environment or physical things these are only physical things but physical things are also necessary uh, whatever is necessary for our uh, life that affect greatly affect our behavior our emotional level if the people are people are suffering uh, from the uh, they are not getting the sufficient food they are not getting the sufficient resources so uh, they may be involved in the uh, some crimes also they you so their emotional level and their social uh, their social development can be affected by those issues so physical uh, physical things that comes in uh, because we have been since we have been born on this earth so we need the physical things to life also so if we want to correct uh, we need to work what uh, what is the conclusion of these two definition what is the conclusion of uh, these two definitions 
that means we we need to work on our uh, if we want to correct everything as a system so we need to work on those aspects also we need to work why there is so much variation why there is so much variation so the cause behind them is the natural resources the mismanagement of the natural resources although we have the sufficient resources in the south asian countries but still we are facing so many problem in the south asian countries or means developing countries but the developed countries even they do not have all the resources but they do not face the uh, so much variation and so much variation among the uh, social level or economical level or political level they do not have too much variations that i am talking about the developed countries so there is so much variations among the these levels so these levels should be considered what is the difference among Uh, developed countries the people of the developed countries and developing countries so in the developing countries we have the resources natural resources but these are the different thing that that affect like mental intellectual economical political cultural social moral emotional so these are the levels on which we vary with those people like those who are living in the developed countries and those who are living in the developing countries so we can also say there is a scarcity of the some of the resources i uh, means uh, in some of the state of the india also we do not get the water like rajasthan and other so there is there may be some harsh condition so people used to fight over the water issues so there may be some type of problem there and sometimes we uh, we somewhere we get the more water so there is a natural distribution but we can see uh, our Seventy percent of the earth surface is covered by the water. So water is not means that is not insufficient water. We can use that water. Is there any way to use that resource? Can we maximize the production of more fresh water? The fresh water that is available uh, on the earth that is only two point six percent, and some of the part of this water also has been logged in the glaciers and icebergs. so can we manage that water because we have some more than sufficient water on the earth we can and we can solve the problem of the society the people who are lacking in the water so that is the conclusion of these two definition these are some more de okay this is the conclusion of these two definition means we should work on these levels also and we we I um, mean, nature has nature has provided everything around us because we we have forest, but we are cutting down the trees. So uh, these are the problem that we will discuss later. Means we have everything that we require in our surrounding. Some uh, somewhere we are lacking the water, but we can manage. We can transport the water from one place to another place, and we can solve the problem of the other. Those who are getting the more water, they can transport the, they can give this water to the another city or another area. Okay, because all the areas are connected by the rivers, and we have also developed the canal. So canal system is also uh, one of the solution. for for that kind of problem because in the old time in the old period the people were more su more suffering from the lack of scarcity of the water so that problem has been solved by the canal system so somehow we can develop more more canals or more uh, more solution so we can design we can design the systems we can design the system that can solve the these kind of problem then the people those who are living in the i mean the, the same country they can feel the way we are all similar so we should always try to work on these aspect also if we if we care about the emotional well being of our society then only then only they can perform uh, up to their 100% can you think you all are uh, you all want to perform so many work in the same day but you are unable to perform those all all work in one day if you have planned to do the work the five task in the one day but hardly you are uh, able to do the two task or three task in the in one day or even the one task in one day so that's we all mean somehow we are getting affected by our environment Be, uh, because we have nature has given the same brain same capacity we have the same cranial capacity but our performance vary why it vary because environment affect our 
performance so this is very sensitive issue we should be aware we should be aware for this also we should work together because we share the key if we want the, this there should not be variation because we are sharing uh, we are sharing the same air you can read the different books but you cannot you cannot inhale the different type of oxygen or different type of air if you are sitting in the same class obviously you are inhaling the same at uh, same type of air and you are drinking the same type of water from the institute so that quality quality is the same the physical environment is same those who are living in the same area so we can uh, work in the group together to solve uh, the similar kind of problems we need to look what is common we no, should not look what are the variation we should not focus on the variation we should focus on the common thing what are the common requirement at least at least for the common requirement we can work together so that it should remain we also we also focus on the variation also but that is that is to work to, uh, when when we will be together we can solve those kind of problem but if you think you share the common common atmosphere common environment you need to work together so that uh, you can ensure the fresh supply of water fresh supply of uh, fresh air oxygen this is the mandatory this is the minimal required thing that you need to live in the environment you also need the good food so how you can ensure whenever your uh, if your environment is good you can ensure the supply of these things in your life and then then you can perform better in that environment so our performance uh, leads to the development of nation also so we should take care of our population also so we will discuss about the scope of the environment before going on to this aspect uh, i want to discuss one more thing can you tell me can you tell me how this problem can be solved why the why there is so much variation this what is the difference what is the difference between developed countries and developing countries can anyone tell me can anyone of you tell me about this what is the difference between developed countries and developing countries that is a important thing need to be discussed here what are the differences what is one difference at least you can tell me one difference i have told you about the one difference we have sufficient resources we have uh, natural resources more than the developed countries still why we are facing the uh, problem too much problem about the hunger or low poverty line why those countries are not facing that problem can any one of you tell me ma'am yes yes what's your name my name is prashansha cha i am chemical branch student okay. so i would like to explain about this mismanagement of resources okay okay uh, yeah yeah good mismanagement of resources prashansha Then basically, developed countries have awareness about uh, system and uh, different types of uh, management. But uh, developing company, uh, developing uh, country are trying to develop their country. We don't have a uh, uh, as a large amount of uh, awareness. Even if we have our awareness, then we cannot uh, working according to the system. So there is lots of a uh, variation between uh, developed country and developing countries. okay ha huh, this is the one means we are not aware the people who are living in the developed country they are more aware okay awareness if we, are, aware, if we are aware about the system we don't have a sources to execute them properly okay if we are aware also means we we don't have the resources to yeah. solve those problems yeah but uh, as it has been observed that uh, we uh, we have the more number of resources means if we compare it to the developed countries we have like in the arabian countries we are uh, means there is so much problem but they are very rich in the oil petroleum still the, there is a too much problem 
so you need to think there is a cause behind that also means they are rich in the resources and still there is a problem the people are fighting so there is some kind of when they, they are, hmm? yeah there is no, not a problem we are not हमें हमारे पास कोई मतलब रिसोर्सेज तो है मैम लेकिन हम उसको प्रॉपर यूज करना भी हमें नहीं आता इसलिए वजह से भी हमारा प्रॉब्लम होता है हां यूज यूज करना नहीं आता व्हाट्स योर नेम मैम कुनाल कुनाल फ्रॉम व्हिच ब्रांच इन केमिकल हमारे पास रिसोर्सेज हैं लेकिन हमें प्रॉपर यूज करना नहीं आता बट ऐसा क्यों है कि व्हाई व्हाई द पीपल फ्रॉम द डेवलप्ड कंट्री दे नो हाउ टू यूज द रिसोर्सेज डेवलप कंट्री का ये है बट जो डेवलप कंट्री नहीं है उसको जैसे पॉपुलेशन हमारी इंक्रीज कर रही है मैम पॉपुलेशन इंक्रीज करने की वजह से मैम हम लोग बस अपना स्ट्रक्चर तो देख रहे हैं लेकिन उसको प्रॉपर यूटिलाइजेशन कैसे करना है वो चीज नहीं देख रहे हैं ओके मींस हमारे पास रिसोर्सेज हैं लेकिन व्हाट यू वांट टू से देयर इज अ इंक्रीज पॉपुलेशन ड्यू टू द इंक्रीज पॉपुलेशन वी आर अनएबल टू मैनेज बट If we have the increased population, also we have the high, high, highest manpower like China. Okay, so we have the manpower, so we can use that manpower to manage. So management should be good in that condition also. Yes, ma'am. So what the question she has told that there is a lack of awareness means we lack something in the education also. No, we should create more awareness also means we have the resources also. So there is a lack of awareness. okay there is a lack of awareness that we can we are unable to solve our our problem so there are uh, means uh, now you have told me there are the two reason there are two causes increased human population and lack of awareness yeah yes that is the true thing okay so we need to work on this issue the cause behind everything the most important cause that i am telling you that is the increased human population if we control this increased human population then we will be able to manage all the resources so uh and what is the problem what is the problem increased human population means if we are if we are more in the number we should better manage our resources why this is not happening so we lack something i means we need to be aware we need to provide the good in the terms of education also if we think that developing countries in the india the pps are getting the phd degree everybody used to uh, study the ba and ma so in the developed countries people don't study too much also so we need to think what type of education we are getting what type of uh, degree we are taking we are utilizing uh, that uh, degree or not we are taking the ba degree ma degree so in our country you can see within the india also everybody has the ba everybody is graduate i mean you can see around ba ma everybody will do but in the foreign countries or in the developed countries you can see means aisa bhi nahi keh sakte hain ki we lack the education ya jo bhi humne education li hai that we can say we are not aware what we should uh, teach or what what we should read what we should study that means we are moving away from the nature we should study about the problem that comes in our surrounding that's why i, I am uh, in the in the first class those who have attended my first class in the classroom i have discussed about the i have told them to write down the to define their environment what are the problem that comes that you face in your surrounding first you need to think what are the problem that you are facing in your surrounding instead of focusing on others we can at least solve the problem in our surrounding so that is the that is the first education means uh, where you can apply your education means whatever problem you are facing in your society you can at least you can try to solve them at least one of these problem so you need to think what are the problem so this is your assignment also you need to think what are the problem that exist in our environment okay so this is a very good thing that uh, two of you uh, prashansha and kunal has told me 
but main problem is increased human population if we control these uh, this increased human population we can manage everything the what this is the difference between developed countries developed and developing countries because awareness awareness we cannot scale there is no scaling there is no scaling method everybody will say in india that we are educated we we are aware we know everything because we have this degree we have phd degree they will say we are more aware but in the foreign in the developed country they do not have everybody do not have the phd degree or pg degree hardly hardly they study after the high, high school but they are aware so what is the scaling method we cannot measure we cannot measure that we are more aware they are less aware there is no no scaling method to measure that but population we can measure you can easily see this difference a developed developed countries uh they have these countries have the less population they are less in numbers and we have the large population on uh, increased population in the developing countries so uh, we can compare the number how much population we have so we need to keep control this is the clear cut difference that you can easily observe in the physical terms you can observe this is the main difference between developed countries and developing countries if we want to be, i mean there is to, uh, so much population and we don't do not care why we are not aware why we are not aware uh, to this we, we have we have too much population and we are uh, we are only working to solve the problem of this unincreased population we need more house we need more uh, means urbanization more industry to serve those people so we are struggling to feed to uh, to uh, solve the problem of these people so that is that is the issue okay mai hamare paas sirf theoretical जो हम लोग पढ़ते हैं मैम एजुकेशन हमें मिलता है वो थ्रेडिकल मिलता है मैम हमको इसके डेवलपमेंट रिलेटेड नहीं मिलता इसलिए भी हमारे अवेयरनेस कम हो चुकी है क्योंकि और जो डेवलप कंट्री है वहाँ पे मतलब अवेयरनेस उनको इसके रिलेटेड प्रॉब्लम ज्यादा सिखाई जाती है थ्रेडिकल कम सिखाई जाती है इसलिए तो इसकी वजह से भी होता है क्या कम सिखाया जाता है मैम वहाँ पे स्किल रिलेटेड जैसे जो हमारे हमको जरूरत है मैम वो यस मैम स्किल एजुकेशन बट इंजीनियरिंग इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन दैट यू आर गेटिंग दैट इज ऑल्सो स्किल्ड एजुकेशन बट हम अप्लाई करना नहीं सीखते ना मैम इंजीनियरिंग में हम भी थ्रेटिकल ही पढ़ते हैं उसको अप्लाई नहीं किया जा सकता अप्लाई नहीं कराया जाता है हम वहाँ पे उसको अप्लाई करा के दिखाया जाता है अप्लाई करके दिखाया जाता है ओके सो दैट मींस यू यू आल्सो दैट ओके मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट आर ट्राइंग टू जस्ट मगिंग मगिंग अप द होल कोर्स इंस्टेड ऑफ लर्निंग एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट व्हाट्स योर नेम व्हाट्स योर नेम I'm Sadan Kharwar. Okay, okay. Whenever you speak, so you just tell me the name because I am not able to see you. So you can just okay, Sadan. What are you saying? Most of the students are yes, trying Siddharth. to mugging up the whole course. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, students okay. are trying to mugging up the whole course instead of learning it or understanding it. So this is the major cause of. Uh, Uh, in a major problem in our India, Indian education okay, system. Okay, to score, okay, to score high, to to get the more marks, they are mugging up. Hmm? Yeah, and that is that is their requirement, not to score high. So you need to think. You want to get more marks, or you want to solve the problem. You want to work for the society because if this is a, if your environment will be there, you will exist in the nature in future. otherwise there will be problem you need to think these because in the 1970s we have focused what are the problem that is occurring in the society before that we were not aware okay now 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 we are now environment subject environment science subject is taught to you but in the old time there was no subject like this environment science so abhi hum padh rahe hain na ye so uh, we need to solve the problem we need to be aware we uh, i mean that you want to score high or you want to solve the problem because if we score high also we are getting more degree this is the problem of india or developing countries we are getting the more degree but we are not getting the job because we are not working according to the requirement what is the requirement in our area 
we need to think what is the problem of our city what is the problem of our uh, the area in which we are living we should work we should try to solve the problem of that society society so that's what the entrepreneur do what they do they they need they look for the business they solve the pro problem of common people or uh, or the large population if you if you give a solution to the problem of large population then you you will work for the society you can uh, develop the better business there you can also earn the money from that business if you provide a suitable solution or uh, to the large population in the comparative less less amount a cheaper solution if you provide a cheaper solution in that society so you can be successful in that area there will be no problem there will be no job security in that way so you need to look around you you should learn this thing what are the problem real problem exist in our uh, society in our area in which we are living instead of uh, reading the books all the time so the all the problems have not been discussed in the books that books have been written uh, 20 years before or 10 years before whatever the knowledge that is written in the books so now not what is the problem of current time we need to look we need to focus on this is the education means whatever we study in the class we should apply we should apply in the society we should apply in the real life also and to apply in the real life for that you can uh, you can work in your lab you can work, you can focus more on the practical work so that is the that is the thing okay that is these are the issue hello ma'am okay so we will have hello yes. Ma'am, we we have a another class. Hello. Mohit. We have a another class. Can we do this class now? Yes, yes, yes. Please take attendance, ma'am. Uh, I miss. Want to say one thing? Uh, can any one of you from each branch? Uh, because this is the same time for chemical branch or ECE. So can you make the attendance? I miss CR. CR of each class. Make the attendance of today. Make the count of the attendance of today's class, okay? Because it will take more time to make the attendance of, okay? Because you have the next class also. For today, you do this. So next time I will do. If the student will join before the ten o'clock, I can take the attendance. Some of the for some of the student, I have already taken the attendance. Those who those who have joined before the ten, this around the ten o'clock. 